Hi, welcome to Caribou Country Lifestyle. My name is Cheryl and thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to be picking some of my Jennifer potatoes. Uh, we have taken out some country ribs to have for dinner tonight and I only have four potatoes. I did come and pick out a hill of potatoes and that's why I only have four left. I had been making a dinner before and realized I didn't have enough potatoes. I was making a pork roast, didn't have enough potatoes, so I decided to come out here and check out one of my hills. And the Jennifer are my early variety, so I'm going to dig up another hill, and I'm not doing any, like I don't have any shovels, no pitchfork or anything like that. I'm just going to take the plant out, and then I just kind of rummage around in the dirt with my hands, trying to get the rest of them out. And I didn't have to dig far down at all. So first I'll get this plant out. And this one has fallen down off to the side. I'm just going to stand up. It's going to make it a lot easier. So I'll take the plant out first. I'm just getting the whole plant. See what potatoes I have attached. Any babies I'm going to take off. I think that's it. I'm going to just put this over here. I'll add that to my compost and we'll see what we get here. Now I don't know if you followed me last year. I did uh, potatoes in pig feed buckets and I did, I planted the potatoes in uh, three different types of soil and I did um, just straight garden soil and then I did a garden soil and compost mix and then I also did uh, just straight compost and this year I decided I wanted to plant them in these uh, no dig beds and see if that would uh, be any better worse. Um, I mean my parents always planted their potatoes in the ground. My sister she plants her potatoes in the ground in Saskatchewan. I mean so far I'm getting some pretty nice sized potatoes. Sure I have quite a few little ones. I don't know how this red one got in here because these are supposed to be a white potato but I, I think I came up with a red one in my other hill that I pulled up as well which is funny so I'm just gonna kind of rummage through the dirt with my hands and pick out anything that I can find here some really eeny weeny little ones I still have some of the Jennifer potatoes that have not the plants have not fallen over so I'm just leaving those but these ones the plants have fallen over so I thought well I'll pick these ones first like that's a pretty nice sized potato on the most part, they're actually quite nice. Like that's really nice. Almost worthy, baked potato worthy. Let's see what else we got growing in here. Got a couple more little ones. And this, this dirt is just so wonderful to work in. It's so nice and just so easy to rummage through here. Might be, might be it. Oh, got a rock. That goes over the fence. Oh, there's another one. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this. Oh, there's one way over down there. I'll pull this uh, another one dirt up and mound it back up into a mound just like I had when I was doing my uh, when I made these raised beds. So this is a no till, no dig, no till garden. We all we've done is we've just brought the dirt in, mounded it up, and that is it. We're not walking on it. Well, I shouldn't say that. On the most part, we're not walking on it. Every once in a while we have little whoopsies and we definitely um, end up stepping on it. But on the most part, I am not walking on these rows at all. So I'm just gonna get out any of the stems out of here as well. Okay, I think we've got as much as we're gonna get out of that bed. So I did pretty good. I filled this up two thirds full of potatoes and now we're gonna go and get some green onions and I'm gonna pick some of my volunteer green onions. And we're gonna be making cream, dill cream potatoes. So I'm gonna be picking some fresh dill as well. Let's go get some onions and some fresh dill and we'll be adding that to our potatoes. Just gonna pick up this little bit of stuff that I've thrown on the ground. So we were in Saskatchewan for a wedding and so I've been gone for uh, just barely over a week. We drove down there to Saskatchewan in Saskatoon which is about an hour and a half away from my sister's farm. So we went out to my sister's farm first, hung out there for about five days and then we drove into Saskatoon and we stayed in an Airbnb and it was an absolutely beautiful wedding. My nephew has married um, East Indian girl and oh my gosh, it was such a beautiful wedding. So they had a traditional East Indian part of the wedding and also the Canadian part of the wedding. They did, it was um, a henna party before, Two days before the wedding they did a henna party and it's called uh, a melanchi I think it is and so we had henna tattoos I don't know if you can see that so I that's the picture I picked and flowers of course me I love flowers so we did that on the Thursday night was the henna party and then the Saturday was the wedding and it was just, as I say, absolutely beautiful. Um, it was such a great time. So here I've got some volunteer green onions and I'm just going to pick my largest green onions. And I probably only need one. I'm going to cut, you know, I'll clean this all up put the white part in with the potatoes but I'm mostly cut I'm using this for the green part for in these cream potatoes and of course normally you would use whipping cream to make these but because my son is dairy free I use uh, coconut milk instead so maybe I'll pick one more just to be on the safe side I'm so glad that these onions reseeded themselves and that they're growing in here. It's so great. Uh, we got back uh, from Saskatchewan. Well, actually, we drove from Saskatoon all the way to Salmon Arm yesterday. Uh, no, we drove from Saskatoon all the way to Kamloops yesterday, which took 12 hours. And so we only had three hours left to drive today, which 
makes it possible for me to be able to be in the garden. So we've done a lot of, I've done a lot of pruning, tying up my tomatoes, uh, deadheading. We had a cherry tree that was just loaded with cherries while well, they finally started ripening. And we've picked two ice cream buckets and a big colander filled with sour cherries and we still have more. I mean, we're going to wait a, maybe a week and then pick the rest of them. Some of them weren't quite ready yet. So we were doing that. I picked raspberries. I picked strawberries. I have snow peas to pick. I have kale to pick. But today I was just worrying about the fruit, especially the stuff that needed to be picked. And now I'm just thinking about making some dinner uh, for us for this evening. So I'm gonna go get some pick over and pick some dill. Tea. This here is my dill. I have one here. I have another one growing here. This beside it, that's cilantro that has gone to seed. I have some more dill growing in the back. And I'm just going to be picking off some of these fern leaves. I'm not going to be picking any of the heads. I want to use the heads for when I'm doing some pickles, but this, uh, these bottom leaves will be perfect. So I'm just going to pick off a bunch of these bottom leaves, add that to my potatoes. It is going to be mwah, so good. When I told my husband I was making these cream potatoes, he was uh, pretty excited about that and I don't need a ton so I'll just pick off another I'll pick some off of this one little baby leaves off of here okay that's really all I need I'll put this in got my potatoes got my onions got my fresh dill now I'm going to go and uh, start my dinner. So I just want to thank you for joining me. Really short, super short video today. And we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.